gender inequality and women's mistreatment has always been a serious problem in Asia. It is interesting how Vietnamese cinema is considered as a yin cinema, where a large number of plots revolve around women and their lives. Explaining this situation, Thich Nhat Phuc, the screenwriter of several popular Vietnamese films and TV series, stated, Female is complicated, lovely, and unexpected in nature. That is why when we choose a female lead, screenwriters find it easier to create stories full of conflicts and dramatic twists. According to several Asian cultures, everything in general has its yin and yang sides to create the balance of its own existence. The yin-yang theory could be seen applied heavily to Vietnamese people's perceptions and way of thinking. In terms of genders, yin stands for feminine energy of women which is supposedly expressed through femininity, passiveness, and endurance. In this video, we are going to analyze how this yin side of women is portrayed on Vietnamese big screens through the use of camera and color in four different films, often by showing them being prone to traumatized experiences and the tendency to quietly endure them afterwards. Her third wife, the white silk dress, falling lives, and the scent of green papaya. One of the yin elements of Vietnamese women is endurance, so despite all the hardship, they would not express their feelings outwardly but rather suppress them. Directors take advantage of colors to visualize women's delicate feelings, and through the use of color, women's stories were unfolded gracefully. In The Third Wife, its character was dressed in certain color scheme according to their background and philosophy. In the beginning, May wore clothes in bright colors as a symbol for innocence and towards the end, she dressed mainly in white since in Asian culture, white is associated with misery and death. Not just in the color of props, color palette graded in frame also evokes with characters' feelings. When Zen was living in peace for life with her husband, the frames were filled with lovely tones like red, green, and yellow, but when moving to scenes when she was beaten, the background loses its vibrancy, turning into a neutral palette, impersonating the look of noir film to leverage the moody atmosphere. Camera movement is a frequently used approach to either demonstrate the unfair treat between two genders by following their movements or stimulate the flow of emotion through speed. Being pushed through the edge by poverty and class division, Zen had to take the job as a nanny for an old Chinese man. The shamefulness of having to bear herself for a stranger was described through the slow camera movement, representing how a few minutes feel like hours for Zen. To express the pain even more vividly, the director used close-up shots of Zen's troublesome impressions. Camera angle is another common technique to display the powerlessness of women in front of men. Women are shot from a high angle to indicate how they were perceived as lower and dominated by men, while male were shot from a low angle, looking down on women demonstrating the contemptuous gaze. Men at the time often objectified women and saw them as a tool of pleasure of themselves. For example, in the scene, the vulnerability and impotence of the main character in floating lives, Nguyen when being assaulted, was portrayed through the angle in her helpless, numb look. Another method is to highlight the character's emotions with close-ups or middle close-up shots. Rather than depicting women's feelings through dialogue, the eyes are the window to their psyches, so a lot of scenes were used to shed light to this feature. The camera focused on May's eyes to show the change from curious to decisive, indicating the growth of the character after realizing the harsh reality of a woman's face. In the case of Chen Hong, he used his shots to delineate the true beauty of female. In contrast to the third wife, Mui, the main character in the scent of green papaya, had unchanged emotions toward the nature, despite the flow of time was centralized on the screen through close-up technique, encapsulating her pure, unchanged soul. In addition, the director once said that washing hair is one of the most personal movements of women. The camera was static in medium frame to capture every gesture of Mui in the scene. Exposing herself but in a comfortable state, Mui's centrality was expressed intimately and naturally. Similar scenes could also be found in other films under the Vietnam trilogy of Chen Ning Hong, where the charm of women was deliberately subtly and reserved showing the yin of Vietnamese women. 